Now, let's look at these sentences. I'm a teacher. He is a doctor. You are a lawyer. Mary is a nurse. John is a programmer. Jack is a reporter. These are all different professions. And when we talk about professions, we have to use the indefinite article. I'm a doctor, I'm a teacher. These are the correct sentences. If you say, I'm doctor, I'm teacher, this, these sentences will not be correct. This is incorrect. So, whenever we talk about professions, about someone's job, we have to use the indefinite article. In English, there is the indefinite article and there is the definite article. The indefinite article is a, a doctor, a teacher, a reporter, a nurse, a pupil, a student. But this indefinite article has one variation, an, or you can say there are two indefinite articles. Whenever a noun starts with a vowel, vowel, a, e, i, o, u, we cannot use a, we have to use an. Look at these examples. He is a doctor, he is an engineer, she is an accountant, an engineer, engineer. Since the word begins with a vowel, we cannot use a, we have to use an, an engineer. Or, she is an accountant. She works in the finance department. She is an accountant. Accountant. The word starts with a vowel and we have to use an. We cannot use a. And here it is also important to pay attention not only how the word is written, not only how we write the word, but how we pronounce the word. For example, the word hour. You see how we write it? Hour. It starts with the H. But we do not pronounce this H. We say hour. That's why we say an hour. An hour. But the word uniform. Uniform. It starts with an you, but we say a uniform, uniform. We use the indefinite article whenever, whenever we speak about professions. He is a doctor, he is an engineer. This is a rule. We also use the indefinite article whenever the noun is in singular. There is a boy. There is a lemon. There is a woman. This is a man. This is a boy. But there is the other article, and this, is, this one is called the definite article, something definite, something that we know. That's why it is called the definite article. For example, in the office in the classroom, in the room. This is how we use it. When the noun is singular, when we mention it for the first time, we use the indefinite article. For example, this is a girl. But when we mention this noun for the second, for the third time, we have to use the definite article. So, this is a girl. The girl is in the room. You see? This is a girl. The girl is, for example, in the room, the girl is 20, whatever. Or, 
There is a lemon. There is a lemon. Noun is in singular and we use it for the first time, so we have to use the indefinite article. There is a lemon. The lemon is yellow. This is the second sentence. We repeat the noun lemon and now it goes with the definite article, the lemon. There is a lemon. The lemon is yellow. Or, let's see one more example. He works in a bank. He works in a bank. A bank. It is mentioned for the first time. The bank is in the city center. The bank is in the city center. It is not any bank. It is this one that we have already mentioned in the first sentence. He works in a bank. The bank is in the city center. And also pay attention to how we pronounce this the or the. You see, we always write it in the same way. T-H-E. But the boy, the classroom, the room, the lemon, the, the, the. You see my tongue? The, the, the. We say the, we pronounce the whenever a noun, a word, starts with a consonant. But if a noun, a word, starts with a vowel, vowel, a, e, e, o, u, we have to pronounce it the, the. The accountant, the engineer, the hour. Once again, pay attention to how the word is pronounced, not only how it is written. The doctor, the accountant. The nurse, the engineer.